Yes, yes, yo, what's up, friends, ladies and gentlemen, what's up? As usual, we will start our um, video with a live game and see what happens, see what happens. So far today, I'm not winning much, so I wonder why, I wonder how. Well, it's part of the game, and uh, I don't know if uh, you've already uh, rented some forces before or uh, you've already uh, get scholarship, and I don't know if you've already raced. It really feels bad, but as I said in my uh, short clip, it's not as stressful as if, you know, let's see, 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 ah, see, see, how, how depressing is that? I was... First all the way until this uh, horse number 11 took over. But it's all right, guys. A win is a win. A win is a win. As I was saying, I hadn't win much today. But uh, yeah, that's it. All right. So I'm here today to uh, present to you the uh, promotion for tomorrow's um, daily renter of our horse. Because the one that I posted earlier today is for... February 3. So if you haven't seen that um, video, I encourage you to go there uh, and, uh, of course, give your uh, answer so that on, uh, on February 3, we will reveal and see who will win. And the question for that was, how much will be the um, PGX Pegaxi prize on Thursday? Um, obviously, there will be a deadline for... Um, uh guessing and that's tomorrow february 2 i will be posting my comment there and i will tell you that uh once anyone that will comment above this comment will not be included so i encourage you to put in as early as you can and you can guess up to five times okay so for tomorrow's question you need to tell me what will be the rank of my horse I will be recording two race, not, not this horse, the other one that I rented. I will be recording two races and you need to tell me what is the rank of race one and what is the rank of my horse on the race two. So for example, I expect you to say maybe race one, your, my horse finished like uh, maybe fourth and then race two, my horse maybe finished as um, tenth. So I expect two answers from you guys. If it's only one, then that counted. Also, if you didn't, um, also if you didn't uh, write race one or race two, I assume that your first answer is the first answer, and the second answer will be the second answer for race number two. So I hope that's clear. You just need to tell me between um, one to twelve what is the rank or position of my horse after the race for the two recorded race that I will be doing after this video. So obviously I hadn't recorded it yet, but just to give you a clue, I'll be using this horse that I rented. At the moment, the win rate is very low, 20.45. And I'll give you, I'll scroll down just for you to see what are the usual uh, place of my horse. Nine, seven, four, second, ten, ten, nine, eight, nine, eight, seven. So that should give you a clue, guys. So whoever will um, answer it first will uh, win. And yes, good luck, good luck to all of you. I hope you um, you will be the next winner of this game. And uh, before we do our uh, before we do our um, uh, next race, I'll just quickly uh, give you a summary, guys, of what happened to one of my videos. Apparently, um, the sound or the audio was not right. So I don't know what happened to this mic. Maybe I dislocated it or something. So I'll just give a quick summary of what I want to discuss. It's about protecting your VIS or your PGX. So what I'm trying to say there is like, Good example today, PGX shoot at around 1.07, right? So if you want to lock the profit, what I suggested on that video is convert your PGX or VIS token into USDT. And once it falls down like this, you can rebuy back 
or rebuy again the PGX that you had converted into USDT. So for example, let's give a specific example today, right? The highest was for PGX was 1.07. So 1.07 is the PGX. And let's say at that point in time, um, say today I had already 50 PGX. So what I'll do is I will convert this PGX into USDT, okay? So if you're converting, you just multiply the uh, amount of the PGX into the number of uh, PGX that you want to convert. So for this case, 1.07 multiplied by 50 PGX, that will give us a USDT. So let's bring out our calculator. 1.07 times 50. All right. So technically, you could have bought 53.5 USDT if you had converted it when it was 1.07. And now we know at this point in time, it fell down, fell down, right? It's now 0.85. So I'm round, rounding to two decimal places. So 0.85. So what I can do now, if I think that will be the lowest, or maybe I can wait a few more hours, maybe it will come back to 0.8 or something. So no one knows, right? No one knows if it will go up or it will just keep dropping down. So let's just say I want to uh since i already locked my profit i want to buy more pgx what i can do is i can convert back the um usdt into pgx so using this 0.845 so if you're converting back to the token this time you need to divide so 53.5 divided by 0. Uh, 0.845 is it Yes, 845 equals, we, it will give us a PGX of, let's bring back. So 53.5 divided by 0. 0.845, oops, 845 equals. So you see, you now have 63.31, 63.31 PGX. So your your fifty three point five uh your fifty pgx before is now sixty three point thirty one pgx. So that's how you lock your profit, and you just wait again until you just repeat the process, and you wait until maybe when is the next rise of um, pgx? It could be tomorrow or the next day. You know, you do the same process, and you will earn just by conversion. You know, but again. Just remember, this is not a financial advice. This is just a guide. This is just a suggestion for you to think about. So this is what I'm trying to explain on my um, previous video entitled Protect This and, um, and uh, PGX by using the swap method. So I, I apologize, the, the, the audio is uh, so bad, but I hope I made it clear in this video and do, did the calculation as I did on that um, video as well. Okay, guys, if, if you find this uh, video meaningful, um, please don't forget to subscribe and let me know your thoughts. Please hit that uh, like button as well. And the other risk that you have here is um, who knows if it keeps coming up or down. If you convert early, you could have also missed the uh, increase in profit. So again, this is um, it's a risk that you need to think about. But for me, it's it's really very effective. Each time one of these tokens drop, I always, um, sorry, if they go high, I always convert them to USDT to lock that profit. And I'll just keep, you know, I'll just keep wait, waiting until it drops again. Because as you can see, see, in, in a 24-hour period, there's always a drop and there's always a high point. It's just a matter of timing and deciding when will you jump, when will you uh get off all right or well wh or when will you ride so that's the challenge of this um of this um method but as i also said on that video if you can hold 
so long without undergoing this process, it's, it's, it's better. The longer you hold, the more uh, chance that you will profit. Because for me, I'm very bullish with these games. So I'm pretty sure it will just keep rising. It will just drop down a bit. But in the long run, let's say if we look at the one month graph, see, in the long run, it will just keep going up. So if you can hold as long as you can, guys, please. But then again, I repeat, this is not a financial advice. Okay, guys, let's finish this video with another race. But using my scholarship horse, which is this. Ah, uh, no, not this one. This one, Glitter Fart. Glitter Fart is my scholarship horse. You know, guys, I was so lucky. I was so lucky to get this horse because I think the owner... Uh, the owner wants to uh, rent it out permanently. Because I remember, do you remember, guys, I re uh, I was able to get a share profit horse too during the um, during the uh, server meltdown. The owner take it back straight away the next day. So I was so sad. <laughs> so this one, I didn't really put my high, uh, my expect expectation so high. I, I just thought uh, maybe he will just rent it out for a day or two. But so far, so far, it's still there. That's why I just really hope that um, he will permanently um, rent it out to me. The only thing is I forgot how much, maybe it's 5%. I forgot how much is my share. I cannot calculate anymore because I have one horse uh, that I rented plus this horse that we um, use for the scholarship, daily scholarship. So I can't figure out if this is, I'm only 5% here. Okay, guys, this is it. This is it. I hope I will win again because um, actually Glitter Fart wins more than the other horse. So, yeah. Again, I'll just repeat the question for tomorrow. You need to tell me what is the final place of my horse with the two race that I will be re recording after this using my um, 210 horse. That's the one that I rented for two days. So you can say race one, first place, race two, ninth place. Or you can say something like race one, second place, race number two, seventh place. So yeah, the first one who will get it right will obviously win the scholarship for uh, Wednesday, February 2. I hope guys you're enjoying my uh, promotions. Uh, I'll try to be as creative as I can. I will try. I don't think I can win this match. Maybe I'll finish, let me guess. I'll finish uh, eight. I'll finish eighth place. Let me see my final rank. Come on, show up. Oh, sixth. I'm a bit far. <laughs> Two off. All right, so that's that's how you do it, guys. Tell me what's the final place of my horse with these two um race that I will be recording. Thank you so much. Until next time, let's go and race.